Welcome back guys. So today I have such a fun video. I actually got the idea from an Instagram post that I did a couple weeks ago, basically where I had you guys vote on a light fixture for the master bedroom. And I love the one that you guys chose. So today we're gonna to be doing the same thing, but for my entire guest bedroom. So you guys are gonna help me like just fully decorate it. Also, huge thank you to Wayfair for sponsoring today's video. I love Wayfair. I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. I just love how convenient it is. Um, but they are celebrating their 20th anniversary, so they sent me a little gift box that we're gonna unbox together. And as a gift to you guys, they're gonna be having a 20-hour sale. It's gonna be huge. Um, a lot of products are gonna be up to 70% off, and they're also gonna have 20 doorbuster deals. So I'm gonna link um, all the products that I talk about in this video down below for you guys. Also, there's gonna be a link to the Wayfair sale Sale, definitely check them out and I'm gonna open the little goodie box that they sent because it's literally still sealed I have no idea what's inside Here it says Wayfair 20 years of home and they sent me a little gift card I'm definitely gonna be using this the headboard that I want for the guest bedroom is from Wayfair and then like almost everything like the accessories Got a present? Yes, Wayfair sent mommy a present uh -oh. It doesn't have inside. Well, mommy's opening it right now. I want to help you. You want to help me? Okay, can you pass me that? Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like a candle. I didn't mean to rip the packaging. I'm sure you guys shop at Wayfair, right? Like they have everything from furniture. They also have um, decor, accessories. Ooh, that smells so good. Oh, this smells so good. It's so like refreshing. I feel like I want to light it. I do have a candle going right now, but this smells amazing. So thank you again, Wayfair. There's one more item in here. These are champagne gummy bears. Yum. You guys can also celebrate with Wayfair by sharing a picture of like your favorite product that you've gotten from Wayfair or your favorite space and use the hashtag no place like it. Before I show you guys like the designs that I'm going for, let me show you guys what the guest bedroom looks like. So you go through this like little hallway to the left is like the bathroom and then you have like this whole big wall, which I'm thinking of doing maybe like a hanging mirror or like a gallery wall, something like that. It is a smaller room, so I, I feel like it does need a mirror somewhere. I just don't know where yet. And then once you walk in, you have this wall to the left, which is where I'm thinking of putting the bed. Actually, I am going to put the bed here because this room has a sloped ceiling. So so there's not much symmetry and that drives me insane. The wall where the dresser is right now, I don't know what I want to do there yet. Um, I did find a console table on Wayfair that I really liked. I'll insert a picture of it for you guys. I love it. it. It looks big and roomy. I just don't know if it's going to be too big for this room. So I kind of decided to just leave that part for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the guest bedroom. I have the designs right here. We already have the mattress, so I know for sure we need like a, a queen size bed. And I've already made up my mind on the headboard itself. I want it in a cream color. This one is so pretty. It kind of reminds me of the headboard from my old bedroom, but without the tufting. So I love the clean lines. And I feel like you could really switch up the design with like the accessories and things like that. So let me show you the designs that I decided against. This one is actually very similar to what I have going on in my bedroom. Something like this really works in the master bedroom because of the huge windows that we have in here. We get a lot of natural daylight like the entire day. So it's a very bright and airy room. I thought I wanted to do something similar in the guest bedroom, but that room is a lot darker because there's only one window. So I don't feel like something like this will work, but everything in this picture is from Wayfair. So if you guys are interested in anything that I show or talk about, all of these items are gonna be listed down below. The only thing to keep in mind is that when I did these little mock-ups, they're not like to scale. So take your measurements before you order anything. This next one has the same headboard again. I decided against this particular design because I just felt like, like the bench is so cool, but I don't wanna do acrylic. Once you pick acrylic, you have to kind of stick to it and you have to make sure that you, that's Elliot. You have to kind of make sure that it's incorporated like throughout the entire room. And I just don't know that I, I want to commit to that. The next one, I think it's so pretty, so glam. I decided against this one because I feel like I don't know that I want to stick to like a light pink color palette. And if I get those stools, even though those ottomans are so cute and they have storage too, and they come in tons of colors, don't want to commit to that color palette, if that makes sense. So then I thought, well, maybe I could get it in like a different color and still kind of incorporate everything. Um, but I feel that because this, the bedroom is so small, I want to stick to like larger pieces of furniture in order for it to not look so cluttered, if that makes sense. 
there's four choices. It's like three, but really four choices. Everything in this picture is from Wayfair except the little ottoman. That's actually the ottoman that I'm currently sitting on because I'm considering doing two chairs and like a little table in the master bedroom because we have the space for it. I feel like it'd be really cute. Like I can't do that in any of the other bedroom. And if I do that, then I can move this bench over to the guest bedroom. But I love this. I feel like it's like glam, but it's more modern because it has a lot of clean lines. It's not so like bling in your face. I love those nightstands. You guys will see I use, I think I use those nightstands in like the rest of the options. And then I added this shag rug, which has like amazing reviews on the Wayfair website. People say that it's really like thick and plush. I definitely would love to incorporate it. This is in the champagne color. They do have it in white as well, but I feel like the champagne just looks and feels more luxe. So this next one I love and I feel like it's a little more on the masculine side, but you could definitely soften it up by using accessories and like throw pillows and things like that. But I just, I love the color palette, black and white again. But then you add that like pop of the cognac color. I feel like it just feels so luxe. It's giving me like luxury hotel vibes. The light fixture, I feel like it's such a cool, unique light fixture. Um, it kind of reminds me of the black one that I had in my old dining room, like an updated, fresh version of that. It does have like a hint of gold, so I love, I want. I definitely want to stick to gold as my metal, gold or black. This one, I feel like it's kind of the same vibes as that very first one that I told you guys I eliminated. It's kind of giving me a little bit of like beachy vibes. I love how it has a lot of those organic elements and like the neutral color palette. And then I love how the lighting kind of pulls that black from the legs in the ottoman. And also really like the loop rug. So I actually have a loop rug in our master bedroom and it's kind of hard to clean. So I told myself that I was never gonna get another one for the rest of the house, especially not the living room. But I feel like the guest bedroom is like a low traffic area, so it's okay. And I just love the mixture of like textures and everything that's going on here. And I really like that bench. I don't know what it is about that like cognac color. I don't have anything that color in the rest of our house. So I think it'd be really fun to kind of incorporate that in the guest bedroom. So the last option, which is option number four, I feel like it's a mixture of everything that I love. So you guys ask me all the time, like Liz, how would you describe your style? I have no idea. I just, I like what I like and I just like to piece things together. This design is kind of like a perfect example of just like mixing different styles, but to me it just works. I, I really like it. I love the contrast of the glitzy glam chandelier with that masculine ottoman and then combined with the linen backboard. I feel like it's very unexpected. Um, also, these nightstands are different than the last black nightstands I showed you guys. I do think I like the height of these nightstands because they are about two to three inches taller than the other ones because of the legs. And then for this one, I just went with a very like simple rug. I love just like the gray and white in it. It's just, it's very simple. It's a low pile, also gives me kind of like hotel vibes. So those are the four options. Let me know down below. Make sure you include the number one, two, three, or four in your vote. That way it's easy for me to tally it up. Probably give it like a, a full week so that everybody has a chance to vote. I'm gonna order all that furniture and then do a reveal and show you guys which one won. All that said, I'm gonna let you guys go. Again, thank you to Wayfair for sponsoring today's video and I will see you on my next video. Bye.